the Constitution of India is the supreme legal document of the country. To ensure proper interpretation of laws in accordance with the Constitution, protection of fundamental rights, and to settle disputes arising out of legal interpretations, there are various levels of judiciary in India. These form a strict hierarchy of importance in line with the order of the courts with the Supreme Court of India at the top, followed by the high courts of respective states with district judges sitting in district courts and magistrates of second class and civil judges or junior division at the bottom. Courts hear criminal and civil cases, including disputes between individuals and the government. The Indian judiciary is independent of the executive and legislative branches of government according to the Constitution. The Supreme Court On 26 January 1950, when India became a sovereign democratic republic, the Supreme Court of India was born in Delhi. The inauguration took place in the Parliament Building Complex and the Supreme Court remained there until it acquired its own building in 1958. Composition The original constitution of 1950 envisaged a Supreme Court with a Chief Justice and seven judges, leaving it to Parliament to increase this number. The Parliament increased the number of judges from 8 in 1950 to 11 in 1956, 14 in 1960, 18 in 1978 and 26 in 1986. The Supreme Court of India, it present comprises the Chief Justice and 28 other judges. Appointment, term and removal of judges. The Chief Justice and 28 other judges are appointed by the President of India. The Chief Justice is appointed from amongst other judges on the basis of seniority. Supreme Court judges retire upon attaining the age of 65 years. A judge of the Supreme Court cannot be removed from office except by an order by the President passed after an address in each House of Parliament supported by a majority of the total membership of that House and by a majority of not less than two-thirds of members present and voting and presented to the President in the same session for such removal on the ground of proved misbehaviour or incapacity. A person who has been a judge of the Supreme Court is debarred from practising in any court of law or before any other authority in India. Eligibility for judges In order to be appointed as a judge of the Supreme Court, a person must be a citizen of India and must have been, for at least five years, a judge of a high court or of two or more such courts in succession or an advocate of a high court or of two or more such courts in succession for at least 10 years or he must be, in the opinion of the President, a distinguished jurist. Provisions exist for the appointment of the judge of a high court as an ad hoc judge of the Supreme Court and for retired judges of the Supreme Court or the high courts to sit and act as judges of the court. Fact The Supreme Court building was designed by Ganesh Bhikaji Deolaikar. The building is shamed to project the images of scales of justice with the central wing of the building corresponding to the central beam of the scales. Powers and Jurisdiction The Supreme Court of India is the highest court of the land as established by the Constitution of India. Accordingly, the role of the Supreme Court is that of a federal court, guardian of the constitution and the highest court of appeal, original jurisdiction. The Supreme Court takes writ petitions directly in cases of constitutional violation, serious human rights violation or any petition filed under the right of constitutional remedies, fundamental rights violation or if a case involves a serious issue that needs immediate resolution. Also, disputes between two states or a state or individual and the union government are decided directly by the Supreme Court. Appellate Jurisdiction The Supreme Court is primarily an appellate court 
which takes us appeals against judgments of the high courts of the states and territories advisory jurisdiction the supreme court advises the president of india on constitutional matters when the president so desires however the president is not bound to accept this advice court of record the supreme court maintains all records of judgments and proceedings that serve as laws and cited by the high courts and lower courts all over the country